Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever. Yes, and we're here with all the details you missed in the first ever Godzilla X Kong teaser trailer. Yes, lots of cool stuff to see. I'm very excited, and but it was a little bit of a dark trailer. But I think there are mm. some details there that you might have really might have missed that uh, that are are pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, to see them better, what I did, I went into uh, you know my video editor, and I brightened up the trailer. So I made it brighter so we can see we can see it better. Awesome. So maybe we should let's, do that first. Let's, let's roll let's, it. Let's roll yeah. the brighter trailer and then we'll talk about it. Here we go. All right. So first thing we see trailer. is lot, uh, lot, a, lot of, something that looks like Kong. Yeah. But a lot he of looks different. Smoke. A lot, a lot of, bones. of bones. Lots of bones. bones. And no skulls. Oh, no. Ooh, Godzilla and Godzilla Kong. skull they, and Kong skull. Yeah, they didn't make it. Godzilla X Kong, X Kong, the new, new empire. empire. Is this the baddie, Ooh, the new villain? Looks like blue eyes. Let's see. Blue, blue eyes. eyes there. Only, only in theaters. Only Talk in theaters. That. Nice. Talk about that too. Yay! Right. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about there. It looks like uh, we've got, it looks like what we're seeing is the new villain. So we'll talk about that. And mm -hmm. there's all these bones. Are there any clues in the bones? We'll talk about that. And there's other yep. stuff. There's like the title to talk about. There's yeah. like the colors that I think there's uh, some, I think that the, the colors that we see is interesting. Mm -hmm. And then like the fact in the very end, only in theaters, we can talk about that too. Yeah. So first thing we see is um, at first I thought this was Kong, but looking at it closer, um definitely looks uh looks something that's ape like maybe a chimpanzee because uh he's definitely thinner and the arms are much longer and what's interesting the eyes are glowing uh, like whitish blue so um yeah and it's yeah some people thought it looks maybe like a chimpanzee or maybe an orangutan mm -hmm. i think it looks more like a chimpanzee i think, I think so too i think it's not just the arms that are longer it, you really can't see them but it looks like the legs are longer too mm. and he is really thin but yeah, it looks like this might be like the the new villain in the movie. Yeah, which is surprising. Yeah, because we've been hearing. Yeah, that he's revealed so soon that the first thing yeah. you do is like reveal the new villain. Yeah, it's different than what uh, a lot of the rumors have been going on. Because I was expecting something more of a um, uh, like an updated Toho character or like a hybrid of two characters. But uh, this looks like an all new original uh, villain. One thing he has blue eyes, like sort yes. of a Godzilla blue. Correct. So, but remember that that blue in the last movie seemed to be like uh, like a power source. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That sort of like so the blue is not just Godzilla's blue. It seems like in the Hollow Earth there's like a blue power source, mm -hmm. which is where Godzilla is getting his power from. So rather than this being like the Godzilla blue, it could be like the same that he's like you know part godzilla he could just be like you know getting the same uh power energy. from the same source yeah yeah energy from the same source that godzilla is getting it yes oh yeah, yeah. and then i looked close i zoomed in on the like this uh like through the center of his eyes too to see if there was anything revealed there and i don't yeah. see anything i think it's just the smoke like yeah, in, in the trailer there's a lot the of right. smoke yeah. yeah, there's a lot of smoke in the trailer, and it looks like yeah. it's just the uh and the, the reflection in his eyes is just that same smoke yeah and uh yeah he's very reddish uh like his body color or and yeah. the hairs yeah yeah people were pointing out the red so some people think it might actually be painted on like mm. maybe it's like a, a, a blood war paint yeah or yeah it's like some sort of war paint on him and it does yeah. look, look like it might be painted on to me it does and, because look at his nose and the um i guess on the left side of his eyes because that's more of like a gray like a, yeah, his nose is like doesn't look red yeah 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 and on the left side the left side it doesn't look as painted mm -hmm. yeah and also uh, but yeah people were looking at the hair the hair looked red and uh so that's one another reason people were wondering if this was like like an orangutan mm -hmm. but i think it's like maybe that is just like again painted on mm -hmm. uh, like a painted on red yeah it's very interesting he's uh definitely has the sinister look to him yeah now i think the positive thing about this guy yeah, with this uh, body shape that he has, I think he could probably fight very well, like hand-to-hand mm. -hand combat and like uh, wrestling moves. Yeah. Because I thought one of the best things about Godzilla vs. Kong, uh, you know, from 2021, was the was the fight scenes. Mm -hmm. That they were actually like, you know, they were actually punching each other. Going and, at uh, it, yeah. Yeah, they were really, they were really fighting. 
And uh, so I think with the body like this, this villain could also like be really good at like physical fighting. Because mm -hmm. that's one of the nice things about like uh, War of Gargantuas, uh, the Toho movie. Because uh, the way that those uh, two monsters look, I was never really look into the way they looked. But the fact that they're so humanoid meant that the uh, the you know the uh, the fight sequences could be re uh, really well done. That uh, yes. the, you know the actors, you know the uh, suit actors were not really uh, constrained by the costumes. That they mm -hmm. could do a lot of like wrestling wrestling style fighting. Yeah. And so here too, I think with a villain like this, that there could be a lot of like physical fighting. So mm. that's that's the good thing. I think the bad thing is that it's like it doesn't it's not, you know, a, a creative new villain like like a Toho villain. Yeah, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping for like a new like a brand new like uh, monster, like in the tradition of like the Toho like uh -huh. uh, monsters, like something yeah. more much more creative, more reptilian or something or um, yeah, just more more of a design. This is a very like simple design just think like a like a large like an enlarged uh, chimpanzee or something yeah so it's very anthropomorphic mm -hmm. it's not like you know i mean it's not like in the it's not like gigan mm -hmm. or uh you know it's it doesn't have all that big flash and creativity yes yeah yeah oh another thing to wonder about is like is this uh son of kong because mm -hmm. originally they said they were going to call the movie Son of Kong. Son of Kong, yeah. But it looks, but again, it doesn't really look like it's the same. Uh, like, it, uh, like, look like it's uh, looks like it's the same species as uh, Kong. Is Kong? Uh, yeah, because Kong yeah. is more of an ape, uh, or like a gorilla, right? Because he's right. more, he's more, uh, um, I guess has more on his body, and the arms were thicker. Uh, the, these arms look a lot longer in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's all the bones. Yeah, yeah, which is interesting. I see some sort of is that a bird or some sort of uh, on the on the bottom left? I hope that's not Rodan. So yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like the bottom, so on the bottom, sort of like to the, on the left side, left and center, there's like a kind of like a pterodactyl type, uh, mm -hmm. looks like skull, uh, which I thought is like maybe it looked a little bit like Rodan to me. That'll be sad. I hope that's not the case. <laughs> yeah uh well again it's like we saw at the end of the trailer we have like godzilla's skull and kong skull but i would mm -hmm. think that maybe this is rather than like godzilla and kong dying in the movie which mm -hmm. would, uh would i think maybe again it's like they've talked about how in the past that there used to be like these were two species so yeah. there was there wasn't just like uh one of them yeah. so that maybe uh 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 yeah so like maybe there's in the past there's been several of each type of monster true so, uh, yeah. so yeah this could be like a you know like a uh a rodan from the past yeah but yeah could so be. that's but yeah that's sort of like a rodan style uh sort uh, of yeah can't really tell because it's not it's not really uh clear but um it does have a bird like feel so yeah and this still i was more interested in like the bottom center interesting which looks like a skull with like big teeth yeah like so, a uh, kind of like a rat species okay so now here it's on the uh right side like right side center hmm. it looks like we see a, like a little bit of a skull like a little bit of a skull like a big open mouth and then an eye and then Warhawk. it seems to have a body and then a like a it seems to have a body to it hmm. so this to me this looked like like maybe a kaiju that's like on all fours like okay yeah like, a, like a, yeah something like a baragon or something okay uh but yeah and then all the but yeah then maybe all these uh rib cage uh, yeah rib cage there yeah but then here's this is the one that uh also was excited about this, this sort of like cool. yeah again, sort of like in this like a little bit little bit right of center there's like this skull sticking up uh like sticking up and then with a whole bunch of like uh, war bat i think this might side. be a war bat Oh well, to me it's well. You when I pointed out this to you, you you said uh, Biolanti. I was thinking Biolanti at first glance as, as my uh, go-to alligator, crocodilian kaiju. But um, looking at it, actually, the bottom jaw kind of reminds me of the war bat face. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, with the big teeth in the front. Big too. fangs. Yeah. Yeah. Because Biolanti this... would be, um, I guess, more symmetrical for the teeth. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there'd row. be a little more. I think there'd be like maybe a little more teeth. Yeah, and there yeah, should be more teeth. Yeah. But this reminds me of Bilanti. But overall, like overall with these bones, it looks like there's no clear. Yeah, there is no like clear, uh, except for like Kong, you know, mm -hmm. Godzilla and Kong at the end. There's no at the like, end. Yeah. Clear, clear monster 
so there's no clear like monster verse or uh or uh, mm -hmm. toho monster here but certainly yeah. there's things like uh in that in that spirit here's the title, the title. yeah there's the x like what does the x stand for the verses so, yeah but yeah this wonder is like oh is this just uh mean verses but then they've said and uh but then also some people think it might stand for x for like crossover crossover it looks yeah. like they're not really going to be against each other so in the synopsis here uh -huh. so when legendary posted this they also posted with it with a new synopsis oh okay oh so, uh this what did uh, they say it's the the explosive showdown uh yeah this is an all new showdown yep. all new cinematic adventure putting the almighty kong and the fearsome godzilla against a colossal undiscovered threat hidden within our world challenging their very existence and our own so yeah so it sounds like it's like this new enemy which yep. looks like the uh like this chimpanzee like creature yeah and they're going to be uh uh so but yeah so it's not going to be so it's not going to be yeah. about godzilla versus kong yeah. and the epic uh, new film will delve further into the histories of these titans their origins and the mysteries of uh, skull island and beyond mm -hmm. and uncovering the mythic battle that helped forge these extraordinary beings and tied them to humankind forever so it's huh. interesting this this title more seems to be like delving into the like yeah the history but yeah. then the title but then the title is uh you know new empire new empire yeah new empire so maybe they'll try to have like a whole big epic scope then maybe they'll try to try to show the history but then huh. also this is like the dawning of some sort of new age could be yeah the also something else that's new is the uh, color scheme mm -hmm. uh the colors in the, the blue and the like a dark yeah the blue it's sort of like a blue and sort of like a ruby kind of like a ruby, ruby red because yeah. in the previous film in Godzilla versus Kong, it was it's blue like and kind of like an orange, yeah. like an orange red uh, yep. to, for uh, Kong. And this is more like a ruby. Uh, like we still have the, the same blue, but it mm -hmm. looks like more of a ruby, ruby red here. Yeah. And then still, it's like, yeah, so maybe the, the, the ruby red is more signifying this uh, villain. villain. Cause like, yeah, yeah when, in the shot with the Godzilla and Kong skulls, the uh, yep. Kong skull is kind of like this yellow orange uh, yeah yellow, yellow orange. orange yeah 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 so uh yeah so we got a new yeah new color scheme and then something else that, that it says is that it's only yeah only in theaters uh, uh which i find interesting it also says copyright uh, by legendary and warner brothers uh mm -hmm. entertainment but uh because i thought legendary had broken ties with warner brothers and it, that's instead, what i heard. that's what i thought too yeah instead it was now working with sony but maybe hmm. because uh, maybe they're maybe for this uh you know maybe for the monster verse they like continued the uh Possibly. relationship uh, yeah for that and warner brothers is has a new owner you know they okay. they com combined with discovery and it's under new leadership okay a and uh they i think part of the new uh leadership has been pretty emphatic that they want to have uh uh like new movies like released only in theaters Hmm. uh and rather than because godzilla versus kong came out on hbo max the same day it was out in theaters, in theaters. which was yeah. controversial yeah and so it's like yeah it's like okay i think they've they've gone back to the model of like okay if theaters get it first and then eventually you know eventually it'll come out hit, so hit it, on it, streaming yeah on stream you know uh, yeah streaming on demand and streaming services and you know blu-ray and dvd yeah and of course hbo max is turning into just max but uh, yeah, so it's only going to be in theaters. So it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, gotta gotta get get to a theater to see it. And the release and date. That's the, yeah, that's the way to see these movies, though, because oh, yeah. uh, you want it on the big screen with the the biggest uh, you know sound system, because that's that's how you want to experience it. Because you want to be enclosed in the uh, the action between these uh, giant titans and oh, monsters. Oh yeah, yeah, with good sound too. Exactly. Yeah, and it's coming out March fifteenth, two thousand twenty-four, which, by the way, is the Ides of March. Oh. Uh, which, uh, yeah, yeah, which was probably probably a coincidence, uh, <laughs> since it's like it probably just that's how it fell on the calendar. Or, it, or it could be, um, you know, Kong, like someone that betrayed Kong. Who knows? Yeah, and that's so far away. For, yeah, that release <laughs> date could change. 
but yeah. we're probably past the age we have a lot of release date dates changed during the pandemic but i think they're probably yes. much more stable Mm there's -hmm. probably not going to be a bit if it changes it would probably just be a slight change rather than a big change Yeah. uh, yeah so i think we can uh yeah we can rely that it's going to be you know on or near march 15th I'm excited. oh yeah Yeah, first trailer and uh really awesome tease uh with the new villain, uh most likely a new villain. Um it could be Son of Kong, but I think it, it you know, it's just from the kind of the body structure. of the new character it look and and the way he looks definitely uh, he look I feel like he's going to be the new villain um so yeah I mean I think uh, Heisenberg hit it on the dot like I probably would have preferred a more like like a more Toho style character if they're going to go uh, something new a little more creativity with the design um or I personally just want to see more of the classic monsters being redone in uh uh with Hollywood uh, style special effects but You know, I think it'll be interesting to see a new character and uh, hopefully develop the story. Maybe uh, this is the new villain, and then maybe they will throw in a few more characters. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, what a, what about you, Heisenberg? What are your what's your take? You know, one thing one also one thing that you pointed out uh, earlier was that it looks like yeah this is all like uh, this whole trailer is all computer graphics Yeah, it's very. Uh, it's almost like an animation. It didn't really look uh, live action. Um, And, uh, you know, I think one of the uh, uh, you mentioned uh, one of uh, the folks that reached out to you, I think it almost looks like it could be a video game. Uh, but, you know, it, it this is the movie title. And um, but yeah, yeah we'll uh... Yeah, I'll be curious to see how much of the movie is just sort of computer graphics, like how much mm they they uh, insert like human, yeah, hmm. human Mm hmm. elements. Because if they're in, uh, if they're in uh, like the Hollow Earth, like if it takes place largely in Hollow Earth or on Skull Island, uh, they could like a lot of it could just be like uh, computer graphics. Yeah. It could very well be, yeah. Uh, but yeah, but But some I do of the hope it, yeah. yeah, some of the actors are. Uh, they've said some of the actors from Godzilla vs. Kong are returning. So Okay, it's not yeah. gonna just it's not just gonna be monsters. There are gonna be humans, <laughs> humans in it, uh like okay. as as well. Oh yeah, yeah, but so I'm excited for more. And Yeah. yeah, so we ask that you do please subscribe and we'll keep you posted on the news and other fun videos. Yes. All right, so this is Heisenberg. And G Forever, hoping you enjoy the new Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire trailer.